tell Roxy if she doesn't start being nice to me, I'm gonna wrap her in kitchen roll when she's sleeping. How's it going? Uh, the first thing you asked me is what is my least favourite thing about people? I don't have any sort of questions to read. Um, also, I don't know what my hair thinks it's doing today, but it's not being very attractive in the fringe region, despite my best efforts. Anyway, my least favourite thing about people is probably when they're really ungrateful of what they have. I know it was like Christmas recently, obviously, and a lot of people, you probably know one person in particular, um, you know, people were just not happy with what they got for Christmas, they, they mentioned what they'd rather have instead, and I feel like people should be grateful that they actually have like a, a house and clothes to wear, you know, because, I mean, there are people who are much worse off. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of the people who are friends with on Facebook all have a house and clothes and obviously an internet connection of some form. You know, they could be homeless. So I feel like I don't really like it when people aren't grateful, so that really irritates me. I just feel like, you know, there's a lot of people who are ill and dying and just don't have a good life and for people who do have like a decent life and for them to moan about it sometimes, I mean everybody likes to moan every once in a while, that's fine, but I just feel like if they moan about what they have, surely you should just be happy that you have something. And if you have an internet connection and you're able to on Facebook, I'm pretty sure there's some statistic, it means you're like richer than like 70% of the world or something stupid like that. So people are just, I don't know, that really irritates me. Favourite thing about people, apart from when they are being grateful about what they have, I like it when people sort of take the time to think about other people. You know, I don't like selfish people, I like it when people actually, I don't know, they consider what they do and say, like I like it when people actually consider that what they do, how it affects other people, like you know. I just like people who are nice, generally. <laughs> we all like to moan about each other, but you know what I mean, I just like people who actually um, are just nice people, I like nice people. <laughs> I also like it when people are really open, <laughs> but not like telling you every detail of their life, like some people in particular, but I like, I like people who are just you know, they don't hide anything, like, you know, basically, like, you know, I like people who are just honest, I like honest people, I don't like people who are like, oh my god, I've got five Porsches, when actually they don't have a car at all. I don't get it. <laughs> I remember what the last thing you asked was, oh, the most exciting thing that's happened to me this week, or the funniest thing this week? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, probably a story, which I can't tell you in a video, but I will tell you when I see you on Tuesday. We see each other on Tuesdays, lunchtime. Excellent. Nope, definitely nothing exciting in my life. Um, it was pretty cool, I went to that Viking thing this week, that was pretty cool. It's quite funny, there was a man who actually was a Viking. I don't really know how this whole Viking thing, like, works, but in Shetland or something, you have to be, like, nominated to be a Viking and, like, your group of people have to like nominate you and they have to raise like £16,000 for you to like actually be a viking and you have to like buy your costume, it has to be like properly done, it can't be like fake, <laughs> it's got to be like a real costume and there was this man who was making like the figures of our designs, he was once at an actual viking, like he got nominated and has an outfit and stuff so he was wearing that, <laughs> that was cool. Um. That was quite funny. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, you're a viking. Ooh. It was really awkward because I don't know anything about vikings at all. <laughs> like I got some little badge thing. Let me go get it. I got this little badge thing. It's quite pretty. It's like blue. And I think, let me just... Nope, you're not gonna focus. Oh no, I moved the camera. Yeah, I got this little badge and it's like, I think it's like a badge of like the shield on like the viking outfit of the year or something and apparently it's like a really big honour to get it. And this woman was like, I've worked in Shetland with vikings for 35 years and I still haven't been given a badge. And I was like, YOLO. <laughs> All I did was draw a picture. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it but I guess it's exciting to have it. 
So yeah, he also asked me to sing you a song, but I can't sing, so... <laughs> if you had to have your hair all one colour, which wasn't allowed to be black, or any kind of unnatural colour, like, what colour would you have your hair? Would you have it like blonde, brown, ginger? What colour would you have it? Because I'd be interested to see which colour you would have your hair, like a natural colour. Ah. Next question is, what are your thoughts on kitchen roll? And also, is it snowing where you are? Because it snowed again last night and I am not entertained by it, honestly. I thought it was going away and I got up today and everything is white again. I'll show you. It's not very really, deep, probably only like an inch of snow, but I'll show you. Basically, I'm not amused. <laughs> That's the only... I don't think I have anything else exciting to tell you about this week. It's not really been a very exciting week. I just had loads of work to do the college. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye! I feel like I always show you the same part of my garden when it snows, but that's just because it's out my bedroom window. Look, it's all light again and all these fields and stuff. Not as much snow as there was, because like, the plants, you can still see them. They were buried last time. But look, there's loads. Where did it all come from? I thought it was all melting.